Hey guys, Tarap here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing today's pointing on the left, we have 15th Sway playing as human and going for the Mountain King first. Going Players for a creep on the expansion back. immediately. Let's help you some on the right, we have Moon playing as Night Elf. Going for the Warden. Ancient War creeping up the Mercenary Camp. Map is Echo Isles in this one from the WGL Pro Division. And yeah, I wasn't actually too familiar with 15 Sway. But yeah, he is in the Pro Division. Also made it to the finals of the uh, W3 Champions ladder system, I guess you'll call it. Forces are under attack. Uh, happened uh, the other weekend. So yeah, an uh, up and coming player. Apparently quite young. Not sure exactly how old, but one of the younger guys in the Warcraft 3 scene. Nice to see some up and comers like that. Fresh blood. Okay, a tree of life coming in for moon as well as a moon well in the forward position here. But it looks like this expansion gonna go up unharassed. So if it's way getting off easy there. One's got the ring of region, whoops. So if moon takes a bit of damage here, not too much to concern himself with. We ought to regen it off quite nicely. A player's forces are under attack. Stormbolt actually goes down, but now Footman Shadow strikes a plenty here. So 15 Sway did commit to bash there, getting one bash going on the warden, so no clap. Could be trouble later game. Picks up the mercenary here to help chip away at that wisp. Share a strike. <laughs> Forest Troll is going to go down immediately here. Stormbolt onto the Archer. Enough damage to kill. So trading blows over here, but 15th Sway is going to get his expansion up and running first. So, attack. you know, the trading economy game may be to his advantage at this stage. As long as he doesn't let the Warden get too much experience. We all know what a nightmare the high level warden is, you know, just blinking into the peasant line. Fair and nice, killing them all. A town is under siege. So limiting that is uh, very, very helpful. Has killed quite a few worse so far, though. The Moon, forces are under attack. Probably not quite on point with a couple of the detonates. Let's level three here, and then backs out. Not even going to go for the rest of the camp. Interesting. Got a ring of protection, so Warden very beefy now, combining that up with the ring of regen. Take a real beating. Okay, gonna come down and start the camp. I feel like we maybe could have finished off that camp though. A player's forces See are under See that tree attack. of life still quite far away. Doesn't have nature's blessing, so walking around really, really slowly. They're all right. Good job pulling the creeps over to the tree to soak the damage. And in the meantime, 15 sway. Going for the mercenary camp. Gonna try it to the three. And there we go. Also got the ring of regen. Got the boots of speed as well. Gonna be helpful for keeping pace with that warden. Tier 2 tech. Pretty similar timings between the two attack. players overall. I've been trying to go for the central camp here. Always important. So some limbs are creeping available on equal hours. Fifteen sway arriving a tiny bit too late to get the big ogre. Goes for the forest. Oh, the deny there from Moon! <laughs> What a mad lad. Getting the Forest Troll Berserker to finish the job there. Also have a ward down from Moon. See exactly what's going on here. 15 Sway is going to try to finish off the camp. We're going to come back in for some harass. It's just about daytime. Okay, going for the Forest Troll Berserker, but that's getting healed up. Warden trying to come back in here. Surround attempt by the Footman, unsuccessful. 
But it is keeping the warden away from the Forest Troll Berserker. Clarity on the Mountain King now. Regening that mana. Constantly, you know, threatening, threatening. He's going to Stormbolt go with the Surround, and Moon has still left that extra point available. Hasn't ticked into Blink or Fan yet. Did go for level 2 Shadow Strike though. Kill on the Edge Protector. Oh, he's got Defend on these Footmen as well, making them ultra durable. A little bit surprised he didn't just fire off a uh, Stormbolt here on the Warden. Okay, getting a, bit, a little bit low. There we go. Stormbolt on the Warden now. A little bit low. Do we have the moon well? Doesn't have much juice in it though. Picks off an arch with that storm bolt. Still has about two storm bolts left in the chamber. Just over here doing a little bit of harass. Come back in storm bolt again. Another archer down. Oh, left two footmen behind a little bit there. Maybe a pathfinding hiccup. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, that's going to go down, and now we've got the Demon Hunter online for Moon. In case to be a bit more careful. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he's going to use mana burned. Oh, and picks off another footy on the way out. Got to dry it in the mix now as well. Make it very tricky to get away. Dean Sway gets the deny going this time, and then bash into Stormbolt on the Warden. Lost just about half her health. Be careful with that dryad running around. Oh, we've got the blood mage, but decides to disengage here. Doesn't come in for any siphon action. Oh, here he goes now. We've been waiting for the right time for the mana burn. A little bit too late, maybe. Just to staff out. Oh boy, and I didn't check the basis for quite some time. Dragonhawk's going to be the answer to the dryads for 15 sway. They do perform pretty well. And they actually look quite good with the uh, yellow colour as well. And reforged, in my opinion. Okay, got a bear out already at a depth training. Tier 3 on the way. Oh, already castle tech over here though, wow. 15 sway's been taken like a madman. A town is under siege. Paladin. Looks like 15 Sway wants to take the other central camp. And Moon not coming over to contest. A player's forces are under attack. Well, maybe he is. Looks like it'll be too late to stop anything though. One damage upgrade so far on the Dragonhawks. Nothing yet on the Dryads. Stormbolt on the Warden, now disengaging. We'll see if any snares fly here from the Trappers. Oh. Now the Paladin's in the mix. Gives 15 Sway a bit more confidence. But yeah, we've been seeing a lot more Blood Mage action these days against Night Elf, especially now that Bears are a lot more popular a due to Mountain Giants. Under attack. Seeing a huge amount more Siphon Plus flame strike combo against them. Okay, still with the bash though, it doesn't have the clap yet. Well stocked on mana now though, thanks to the siphon. And coming across looking to do some damage. Moon did end up reproducing that into protected. Does not have nature's blessing though. Still. Dragon Rock's not terribly effective against buildings. Don't have any mortar teams in the mix at the moment. Pumping out the dragon hawks. Okay, workshop Our coming down now. Are under attack. Oh, it's a nasty stormbolt siphon. Warden gonna lose a lot of. Oh boy, and the bash after that as well has to blink out to safety. That was very costly for Moon. There's no mana on that warden now. Oh wow, he's even got the cloud popping that off, disabling the ancient protector there. Knocks out the back. Going for the Dryads. Stuff out on the Frostroll Berserker. The other ones are in some trouble now. Paladin mode getting a little bit low. 
This is a more vulnerable target. Transfers over the invul potion. Oh, the demon hunter. Oh boy. Okay, stuff is ready to go. And Paladin's got a fall here. Just going down, Dragonhawk still up in the air, still looking strong. Goes on the ground though, having to deal with the bears. Oh, oh, turn around onto the warden. Staff out, Demon Hunter back in the action. Just in the nick of time, heal scroll on the human side. Demon Hunter on the run here. Oh, maybe not running fast enough. No, another staff. Oof. So Moon making really good use of those staffs so far to keep his units and heroes alive. Haven't seen the same from 15th Sway yet. It's not got any of those tier 3 items from his shop. And now we're getting very low on the Blood Mage. Banishes himself. Dispel Mana Burn! He had an invo on the Blood Mage, didn't want to use it, and he paid the price. Blood Mage down, he's got to be regretting that decision now. Paladin uh, is back though. Does have the staff on the Mountain King now. The player's forces are under attack. Will it be Aura, or will it be Invulnerability for the Pallet, the Divine Shield? Well, it's not the Aura. <laughs> Makes sense. Keep that Pallet alive. You know, sometimes, especially if you've got, like, Pallet first, if your Pallet's really high leveled, you can afford getting away with the Aura. Or if you're up against, like, Orc, and you really want the extra armor against the uh, Bat Riders and the Mass Air. But yeah, it looks like Moon intent on doing a bit of hero focus here. Makes sense. Okay, very close to five now. I wonder if we're going to see a time of retraining. Pelon now very close to three after these camps. Do you still have a tiny bit of experience on these green camps on 15 Sway side? She could maybe get a level three Paladin close level three. On the Blood Mage as well. Got a mortar team in the mix this time. Oh, Dryad's leading the charge here. But that is a nasty amount of focus fire from the Dragon Hawks. One of the real advantages of air, you can get that kind of focus fire cooking. So, both players close to 80 foot. Pounder now, third for Moon. Help against the mass air. Kills the uh, pig as he walks across here, doesn't want anything blocking his path. Okay, we've got two Griffin Riders in the mix going after the bears, Dragon Hawks going after the Dryads, but a good drunken haze first actually for Moon. Limiting the DPS from those with the missed chance. Dragonhawks working well. Griffins, oh they're just munching through the bears. The Dragonhawks are falling. Looks like Moon is maybe going to win that race ever so slightly. Oh boy, the Demon Hunter, stuff out. Now the uh, Ancient Protector chipping in again. Going after the Griffin Riders now with the Dryads. No cloud. Focusing down the board and all the bash. Pops the invault. Oh, 15 sway. What have you got yourself into here, buddy? It's the town portal out now. The Blood Mage. The heal came in just in time to save the day there. Thought it was going to go down. So at the end of that f fight, 15 Sway actually has more food count than Moon. It kind of looked like that wasn't the case, but maybe he's still a hit. It 
rented stuff out a couple of units. This definitely helps. Seems to have the MK so he doesn't steal any experience. Going for the same camp. So who's got the most lift in their main mine? We've got four. Okay, the so Moon. Is under siege. Two came left in the expansion. Just got to give him a bit of an edge if the game goes on. It does put the pressure on 15 sway. Going for another damage upgrade here. Interesting. Shop control here. Looks like Moon coming into the center. Already got one invo. What's he going to get next? Heal scroll. <laughs> okay. You ain't getting my wisp. Moon uh, has retrained into fan. Worth noting. Blink fan now. Should be very, very effective against the dragon hawks. Will he take down the nature protector this time? Does have nature's blessing now, so, you know, a bit sturdier with the arm armor. What team's going to chip away at that from long range? Here we go. Scroll protection up. Dispel from the Dryads. Focusing down the Mortar Teams first. Dragonhawk slow getting pulled around by the Dryads. Not much damage up time. A lot of missed chance as well from the Drunken Haze. Bears have gone down now though on the ground. And now the focus fire from the Dragonhawk is very powerful against the Dryads. in a bit of trouble anti-magic shell oh now the warden's in trouble still has a heal scroll and invault oh but the bash no comes out of it in the nick of time another drunken haze demount it down going for the hero kills but warden blinking out to safety Bash onto the panda, no, Stormbolt rather. Get the heal potion. But the MK still was so much mana. And the, the panda cannot get away. So that was a much better fight from 15 Sway there. Coming in with the uh, scroll protection, I think that really helped him. Even if, you know, it got dispelled quite quickly, you know, that's time that Dryad's spending dispelling instead of attacking. Dragonhawk's got him off to a good start there. And this time the uh, ground units not so strong for Moon. Those bears died uh, very, very quickly. Mass detonate. No, just about no more mana on the human heroes after that mass detonate, so it's not to be underestimated. More and more drides coming through. 2 2 upgraded. He's maybe going to go for the buyback on the panda. Ultra revive. On the demon hunter. But in the meantime, Dragonhawks are going to work here. Moon does have quite a lot of gold left in the bank. So it can reproduce a hefty army. Maybe even get close. Oh no, I wouldn't say get close to 80. <laughs> 65, 70. But here he goes, coming in. More team goes down quickly. The town is under siege. Uh, the fan working nicely against the dragon hawks. The dragon hawk numbers are crumbling in front of this much piercing damage. Interesting as well. He went for two griffin riders. And they have almost nothing that they can actually attack on the ground. Drides can't be targeted. We can go after the heroes. Here they are back in action. Good mana burn there though. And uh, is Moon going to be able to do this one? Blink fan. A 
player's forces are under attack. a little bit of mana and a mana potion. Siphoning off the mana from the Demon Hunter, though. Stormbolt. Oh, no dodge from Moon. Takes that one on the chin. While the Warden's away, a little bit more damage coming through. Onto the Dryads. Demon Hunter getting low. Warden trying to stay out of range. Go for that Staff. The Staff, oh no, has to Town Portal. Warden was a bit too far away. Okay, so maybe a few ever so slight errors there from Moon, and now 15 Sway in a nice position. Got his expansion up and mining. It is about to run out of gold though, 1k left, but 10 food or so lead over Moon. Moon with no income is walking the tree down, and this is the great equalizer. What Night Elf can always do if things go wrong. They lose their expansion and walk their tree of eternity down. Gives himself a second chance. I hope the 15th Sway comes back in with another scroll protection to the next fight. Because, as I said, with the dispel coming through in as well, you know, then that costs mana on the dryads, then you don't want to use the moon wheels to heal up the dryads. Can make it a little bit awkward for moon. Moon always the with the whisper around the map, under even after he loses them, reproducing them, putting them back into the center. <clears throat> so, early warning system knows that 15 Sway gearing up for an assault in the north. 15 Sway close to 80 food here. Looking to come in for the win. Got the double more teams out the back. Warden blinking on top. Avatar here from the MK. Still nighttime though, so can't turn around and get any damage done on the warden. Go scroll on the human side. Oh, what are they doing with those dragon hawks? Not terribly good. The Griffins have fallen. And now Avatar out. Avatar of vengeance. Oh boy, 15 Sway, is he bitten off more than he can chew here? That extra bit of night time really saving the Warden there. And that fight went horribly. It was about 20... 20? 20 or 25 food up? And he still lost that fight. And run away and those spirits are so irritating. I suppose one benefit of having a mass air army is that they're not leaving a lot of corpses behind. A town is the Avatar received. of Vengeance to make use of. But there we go. Yeah, Avatar wearing off for the MK. Avatar's... Oh boy, MK in some trouble. Where's the staff? Oh, only the Mountain King's got the staff. Of sanctuary and he's gonna have to town pull out here look at this blocking by the spirit incredible play by moon and the now he's up and mining once again tree of life tree of eternity down there and healing oh what a fight what a fight 15 sway making a couple micro errors here. you saw the dragon hawks they were chasing after the dryad quite a long time missing a lot of damage up time and moon just handling that fight so well Crucial level up on the Warden as well. That definitely swung it in his favour. So 15 Sway run out of gold and his expansion. So now the pressure's on him to get the job done. 4k left for Moon. That's plenty to build up a hefty army. Okay, slow to uh, get back in the fight. I thought we might have seen a scroll there, but no. Okay, 15th way. Here he comes. Thought he might try and pull militia across here, but no. 
even just yeah, I suppose yeah, you don't really want a whole bunch of corpses for the avatar, right? Maybe that makes sense. Okay, the mortar team starting things off again. The siphon follows the warden across, gets a little bit of mana off, still not slowing her down. Haze fire on the human army. Oh boy, and the fan, that is nasty. Okay, going into avatar form. Still doing pretty well against Moon's army, but the heroes on the ground are still very, very powerful. And now the dragon hawks are tumbling. He's losing his entire army here. Siphon off the beer, that's an interesting idea. No mortar teams though, it's gonna be hard to knock this down. Avatar does have a bit of bonus damage. So it does work out okay against the tree. Moon meanwhile, resummoning the Avatar of Vengeance. Couple of corpses on the ground and looking to get things going here before the Tree of Eternity falls. Not going too well though. Oh boy, Blood Mage going down so quickly. Those spirits chipping in for so much damage here. And 15 sway on his bicycle now, trying to get away. But is unable to do so. Oh, what a turnaround there from Moon. You know, that second big fight from 15 sway went so well. He's in such a good position after that. But how did Moon do it? He was like 20 or 25 foot down, won the fight somehow, then walked his tree of eternity down to the expansion position, had the victory condition after that. 15 sway, I would have liked to see him like slow down that attack. You know, he attacked into Moon's main base still at night. Which was a little bit, yeah, well, definitely not so good. The moon wells that close by weren't able to go invis. That didn't really work out too well from, I think a stop by the shop would have been nice. As I said, pick up the scroll protection for the dragon hawks for that fight would have been good as well. And maybe then could have intercepted the tree at the expansion position. But yeah, GG, I don't know how moon did it, but he pulled that one off. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft 3 action. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.